Hello guys, I guess it's time to make a UI, finally, and it's not difficult to do, honestly. Let's just go to window over here, go to Text Mesh Pro, and go to Font Asset Creator. We're doing this because we need to use a font to make UI pretty. I'm going to do Import TMP Essentials, and it's going to import a folder over here, Text Mesh Pro. Now let's go to uh, Graphics, make a folder for a font. Oh, maybe fonts maybe you find another font you want to use and i've got the archive over here with a font i'm gonna attach it to this lecture or i believe it will be in the asset package at the beginning yeah let's just drag it here and then i'm gonna drag it here and click generate font assets atlas generate it i hate it keep popping up i hate it let's do save save all right now that we have it we can go here and by the way i have this event system don't worry we're gonna create it together right now even i'm gonna delete it let's go to ui canvas and you can see we created canvas and event system the first thing we need to do in the canvas is go to canvas scaler and choose scale with a screen size and let's do 9020 by 1080 so now, no matter how big or small your screen is, it's going to be stretched correctly according to the uh, screen size. Yeah. Now what we want to do is to make a couple of elements in the canvas. I want to make UI image, and this is going to be um, score. Okay. Let's stretch it a bit, maybe like so maybe 260, I don't know, we can adjust always. I wanna make it black and a bit transparent. It's gonna be background for our score text. And I think we can place it in the top left corner. And to do so, we just need to, well, we can move it like so, but there is a better idea. We can anchor it to the corner. For that, we can go here and just hold Alt and Shift to set pivot point and position and choose top left corner. Now it is exactly in the corner and I just want to move it a bit um, down like so. Now let's make a UI text mesh pro text. And before we continue, I want to say thanks to all of my patrons and give special thanks to Friendly Robot, SKT1 Mighty Poppy, Steven and Gennady, Chen Son and Retrobat Gamer. Thanks to you guys, these videos are possible. We're gonna stretch it here alt and shift and stretch and i want to put this text in the right side so we're going to go here and choose a line to the right and maybe middle right and we can make font bigger so it's more visible and let's try it with numbers let's say we killed uh, 103 sushi pieces yeah okay good i can see it's kind of right on the edge and I don't like it so I'm gonna take this green box and move it to the left just a bit all right this is better and maybe we can make it bold all right now I want to name it as a, a score text and I want to make an icon for this because we have an icon I'm gonna do UI image it's gonna be um, score icon Let's place it here on the left and we can go to graphics, sushi. We need to add another sprite, this one. Yeah, hit apply. Now we have all sushi together and I'm going to drag it to the sprite of the score icon. And I think I can bring it a bit higher like so. And I like it. Looks so good. Uh, maybe we can just, you know, Later, we can do something like X or uh, X doesn't look good. I wanted to do like Sushi X 103. Doesn't look good. It's okay. We'll be, uh, we'll, it will be like so. Now let's uh, duplicate the score and move it to the right. Actually, we can do alignment to the right. Just move it, bring it down and to the left. And this one going to be for a timer. I'm not sure if we have any icon for a timer. Well, let me check it quickly. Maybe there is some 
something. Mm, I doubt it. Hmm. Okay, let me find it quickly. Give me a second. All right, so I found some nice UI elements and some other stuff that we may use, may not. I'll see, like, according to the length of the course, how long it will be, because I have limited time. So let's see what we can add. But I think we'll try to add maybe speech bubble. Very cool, I like it. But later, let's do UI element. So I found UI element timer over here, and I can use this clock. Also, I found the button. Give me a sec. This button looks good. Yeah. Uh, so let's try it out. Over here, we're gonna do timer, timer text, and timer icon. And we need to cut these. So let's do let's do all of them actually. None, no filter. 16 multiple apply and i'm gonna try one of them with the outline let's do slice i'll do automatic this time nah not good okay let's just delete this one delete this one and cut it manually because we need only clock apply all right now i've got the clock i'm going to timer icon and just dragging it here and it is better, right? We can reduce the size slightly. Yeah. Good job. Love it. Mm. All right. This looks somewhat okay. I like it a lot. I'll just change it to maybe like 69 or 61. Good. And also I've got the idea how to make background for these two better. I have the button over here and we can use this button to make it prettier. How? Let's uh, select one of them. I want to try this one. I'm going to hit apply. And before we apply, we're going to take the green part of this sprite and drag it like so. This will allow us to stretch UI element without breaking the sprite, without stretching it wrong. Right? I'm going to do this hit apply and then back on the score and timer we can drag the sprite like so and we can make it white not transparent i think it's okay and we need to do oh it's okay sliced it should be sliced so now it looks good and if you want you can stretch it you can see it works okay you can even make one long panel but i don't want to do that we only need to take text and make it black now so it's visible oh yeah this looks good much better than i expected honestly uh, now we need one more element for bullets all uh, right to see how many bullets we have and i don't know if i want to place it here or maybe here on the right side i have no idea yet but i think we can just try let's do timer duplicate and align it in the center and just bring it down all right maybe in the center here is not a good idea because targets are flying out of here and they kind of covering the i mean elements covering the target but i don't know we're gonna try let's do uh, ammo like ammunition ammo text and ammo icon now let's see if we have something for ammo icon. Mm. Give me a sec, I'll find something. Oh, I've got the idea. We can use hand. I think it explains it very well. We can just use hand as an icon. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Let's do set native size. This looks okay. I like it. And this is going to be ammo text, which is going to look something like, uh, let's say, um, 11 out of 15 bullets so we need to stretch it and place icon to the left all right if we want we can place it below or maybe on the side you just do like place it move it here i mean 
attach to the bottom part here stretch it like so maybe and uh, place icon on the top make I don't know, it's going to be something like something like so, I don't know. Yeah, but I'll keep it at the top as of now. If no, you can always change. That's what I always keep in mind, guys. When you make a game, don't spend, really, don't waste time on small details because you might overthink it and it's better to fix something later once you have entire project ready and you can see what can be done better after all because you might change something in the code later maybe you can change something else in the ui elements and in this way you won't waste as much time right because maybe i want to rework entire ui later when i do final like check so why would i spend and waste my time now on small details that's the idea um now, is it in the center? I hope so. I feel like it's not in the center. I feel like it should be here. Maybe even a bit to the right. Yeah, okay. Uh, now, our target is to fill these numbers with information, because as of now, I just typed something here. We're gonna go to Assets and create c -sharp script UI. And we're gonna take canvas and drag UI on the canvas. Let's do it. And I think we can make this as another video where we like have UI element set up and then UI code set up. So I'm gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna record another video for the script. Thanks for watching. Rest of the course will be posted on this channel shortly. Subscribe not to miss that. Check my website for more courses. Ask your questions in the comments below. And remember, we don't play games, we make them.